What's up guys? We're hanging out in front of the front porch of the Sabrina Spellman house. I'm gonna go on a little tour of set. See a little behind the scenes stuff. Come on. Foremost. Excuse me. We're terribly sorry me. for your loss. But this is where we would greet everybody mm -hmm. who's lost somebody. Would you, Zelda, like to tell them why you want a closed casket? For me, a closed casket is preferable because then you don't have to look at the body. And also, for us, it means that we could possibly have long pig for dinner, yeah. which is a favourite here. Well, Hilda is vegetarian, yeah. so it's a little bit of a battle each time because I'm trying to persuade people to have an open casket where Ambrose can do a beautiful job. He does do a beautiful yeah. job, I have yeah. to say. We've had so many people come and visit us and be dead bodies on this yes and they literally lie on this cold metal. metal i was thinking that surely a memory foam mattress <laughs> would have been <laughs> under everybody but there's not this is my herb room and everyone in, in the production design i've set up this room and everything is real every plant and every pot is real and has a function magical powers yeah. and i wouldn't touch anything no, yeah, Mario. Please don't and know. then there are, look around, there are so many doors and so many entrances. Some of them are false. Yeah, that's just a wall. That one? Yeah. There's actually nothing there. Yeah. Thank you for coming to the Spelling Sisters Mortuary. You can leave now. Hey guys, Kieran in here. I'm gonna give you a little tour of Sabrina's room. Should I give these guys a tour? All right, let's go. Over here is Sabrina's bag. You will never see her, or at least rarely see her without her bag. It's the bag she brings to Baxter High, but it's not the bag she brings to the Academy of Unseen Arts the first time. And we don't really see her with it ever there again. So I wonder if this bag sort of represents a mortal part of her life. Over here we have a mirror where Sabrina gets ready. She's got Polaroids as well as a beautiful photo of her sweet, sweet, sweet boyfriend Harvey. She loves this photo a lot actually because in her locket there are two Ross Lynches, aka Harvey Kinkles. And right over here marks a very, very important day in Sabrina's life. Her sweet 16 slash dark baptism. Of course, she keeps a photo of her parents, Edward and Diana, to remember them. She thinks about them constantly and is haunted by their memory. Well, that's dark. Over here is where Sabrina keeps posters from her favorite movies. She loves horror movies. She is a horror movie fanatic. Also, she's got tons of different Polaroids. A lot of Polaroids she has of what we think is the woods in the show. And she takes a lot of photos of them. All right, I think that's it. Thanks so much for coming along on that tour with me. See you later. Hi, my name is Ambrose, and welcome to my crib. Come on in. Now, being trapped here for 75 years, one does acquire a lot of paraphernalia and knickknacks. As you can see up here, I have my chairs, lots and lots of chairs. They hang upside down because it's part of a protection spell that encompasses the whole house. Now, Aunt Hilda and Zelda, not even Sabrina knows why they're up there, and they're too scared to ask. Especially about that, the baby's crib. Now over here is where I do most of my studies. Now from necromancy to Germanic tales to folklore to Plato and Socrates, my favorite though is The Little Mermaid, the, the original tale though, of course. Over here is where most of, you know what, I, I'm, I'm gonna leave that because this, this, this might be a family audience, it's online, isn't it? We've recently got a cat and she loves to bat around this. I'm not too sure if Salem is a female or male. It's yet to be decided. I don't know if goblins do have a gender. Either way, a magical cat deserves a magical toy. And if you bat this wrong, 
you will implode. Just implode. I'm not joking. Hey guys, it's Ross. I'm in my character's bedroom, Harvey Kinkle. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour of my room. Over here, this is like the music section, which is very important to me, obviously, because I'm a musician. So we got my guitar, Harvey's guitar, over in the corner. We got another guitar that will probably never be played, but you know, gotta have two. Um, some cool posters. What I really like about this show is how there's glimpses of Archie like the, cause obviously Archie Comics, that's the universe that we're all under. And it's kind of like subtly placed throughout the show. So if you catch that, just know it was on purpose. Totally disregard the dinosaur uh, wall. You know, it's one of those things when your parents get really excited when you're a kid and they're like, oh yeah, let's put dinosaurs on his wall. And then once you're a teenager, they don't care to change it. Welcome to the art section of Harvey Kinkle's room. Um, we got some really cool stuff, none of which I did. I really like how Harvey's really into art because I'm really into art and he's got his music over there. Yeah, this is honestly, I could live in this room. Like, it's got all of my needs and Harvey's needs. This is actually pretty cool. I think this is a, um, like a drip paint. I think most of these are actually drawn though by artists. Like that's definitely, that's definitely drawn by someone. I'm not sure who, I've not met this person. I think that is, yeah, these are all like legitimate drawings. Every single one of them. This one's really cool. It looks like a, uh, I don't know, some sort of like cartoon movie like that movie Atlantis. Well guys, that's my room. Uh, hope you enjoyed the tour. Uh, you will see this in episodes of Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. I'll leave you with that. Have a good day. See you around. Welcome to Baxter High. This is the infamous spot where Susie got knocked out right on this square. I actually, we had a separate map that had the exact vinyl of the floor and I had to hit it about 15 times for the take and I ended up with a pretty killer headache the next day but it was totally worth it. Oh, oh hey, God. this is Lachlan. <laughs> this is Lachlan. This is Gavin. My brother from another mother, know, seriously. Amazing. you going through wardrobe? We're gonna go through wardrobe now. Through wardrobe. All right, we're gonna go do work. it. Bye. Bye, see you soon. Come on, let's go. As you can see, there's a bunch, a bunch of clothes. They definitely, oh. We got Harvey's jacket. I'm a little jealous of it, to be honest. I kind of want to steal it, but don't tell him. And there's rows and rows. They do their best to make us look super sweet and fly. I think they do a pretty good job. It's a lot of fun. Let's check out some trailers, huh? We're all usually hanging out outside. We don't spend too much time inside of them. Exhibit A. Jazz, it's your birthday. What? How's okay, it going? Okay. It's good, it's Happy good. Birthday. Hello, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Like I said, we don't hide in our trailers. We don't? We like to come outside and say hi. We do. We like to get some sunlight. <laughs> we get some sunlight. I'm gonna get into character and become Nicholas Scratch now. Via your guitar. Yeah. Get out of your way. I'm gonna get into the zone. Goodbye. We're just in the dark arts, the Academy of the Unseen, Unseen arts. arts. Yeah, let's show you a little bit around. Up here is our balcony. Mm -hmm. This is where we walk around in class. This oh, and this room do... can change into anything. The yes. bedroom, the yeah. forest room, mm -hmm. the, the sewing room. Sewing room. Yeah. Probably the swimming okay. pool. The room. lunch hall. Everything. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Everything. yeah. Another yeah. fun fact, they switch the pictures around all the time. Yeah. There's always new pictures. They're all demons. They're all very really creepy. weird. <laughs> Take a look at this book. This is my grandfather's foot. This is where we first meet Nicholas. Yes. Our love. <laughs> our our, our ex-boyfriend. Ex yes. <laughs> our ex-communal uh, ex-boyfriend. So we've given you a tour. You've seen it all. Yeah. Now get out. Please. Bye. And watch the show. <laughs> we gotta go cast some spells. <laughs>